Hi everyone and welcome to Price Action Trading School. Today it's session number 19 and we will go through our MACD explained. ECS MACD is one of our proprietary indicators. Uh, we use it uh, a lot uh, during uh, trading and of course it is the core of my Camarilla MACD system. So I will go with explanation and uh, we'll show you why the MACD is so good and why this ECS MACD is much better than standard MACD. Uh, before we start, uh, have in mind that you can go to this web address here and of course uh, see which indicators we offer for free. Today's agenda is ECS MACD explained, uh, trend and momentum, how to measure both trend and both momentum uh, on the, the ECS MACD. Uh, yeah, the first comment I see here is that uh, today's webinar is about uh, favorite indicator. Of course, I will just, uh, yeah, just uh, guys, give me a few seconds to actually update uh, uh, people that we also have this webinar now so they can join. Join, okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, so excellent, uh, excellent indicator indeed. David is saying today's webinar is about his favorite indicator, looking good, NKT. Thank you, David. Yeah, excellent. Uh, yeah, also, I need to tell you guys that uh, we are actively, I am actively working on uh, adapting my system also to counter trend trading, so it will be probably released in next uh, 15 days, I guess, uh, but I still need to test it thoroughly. Definitely, definitely it's good. So it's, uh, yeah, on a good side. Now, uh, the core of uh, my trading is the MACD. One of the things that I have learned basically over the time is that the MACD is a very, very universal indicator. And uh, one of the first books I read about Forex trading was from Williams Blow, Momentum, Direction, Divergence. And the MACD definitely is uh, the indicator that I use to measure both trend and both momentum, especially if I combine it on uh, different time frames. Uh, so uh, this is just an example, guys. Uh, I said a four-hour time frame, uh, but it's important that you understand the logic. When the price, okay. Now watch this. This this is important. Very very important. Uh, uh, regarding MACD, if blue line is above red line and blue line is above zero line, we have buy momentum. So this blue line on the ECS MACD indicator is momentum, okay? But if you see on a higher time frame that both lines are above zero line, then we have a trend. But this blue line signifies momentum. If blue line is below red line and below zero water line, this one, we have sell momentum. And you can see that whenever the blue line is crossing this uh, uh, zero line, the histograms will become blue. When uh, momentum is weakening, then uh, histograms become thin blue. It's important for you to understand. Blue, thick blue indicates buy momentum. Thin blue indicates the trend and momentum is still there, but momentum is losing uh, power, so we have a retracement. If blue line is below zero line with thick red histograms, we have sell momentum. When sell momentum is weakening, while the trend is still bearish, we have thinning line. I mean, this info is very useful for all of you who want to actually see how you can use this information maybe to incorporate in your own system uh, but for me, MACD is the core of Camarilla MACD. And I personally uh, don't uh, need to actually uh, use anything else than my Camarilla MACD system that has been producing very, very good results with trading. Now, this is the logic how I do it and how I basically combine trend and momentum with retracement. So let's say that we started drilling down uh, from four hour time frame and this logic actually has also been applied 
to my uh, to the first version of my uh, Camarilla MACD uh, MTF training. Now, of course, I have different uh, version. It's a uh, uh, Camarilla MACD MTF final version, but this information is also used and coded into the indicator. Of course, uh, we have also additional filters with Camarilla MACD, but this info is important because this info is, is, is very, very, very accurate and very precise, especially if you trade on lower time frames, such as 15 minute time frame. If so, let's say that for our time frame, we have like thick red histogram. It means that for our time frame has both trend and momentum. If you go to one hour time frame and see that one hour uh, histogram is weakening, we say that actually uh, one hour time frame is losing momentum, but we still have a downtrend. It means that retracement is coming and we can actually time the retracement on 15 minute time frame. And this is how it looks. Four hour tick, one hour thinning, 15 minute time frame is going up. You see blue, so you can find entries in downtrend on 15 minute time frame. Of course, this is free information, general info, but uh, uh, when, when you finish with price action training school, you will need to fulfill some uh, questionnaire and quiz, and then uh, you will uh, receive a free template. And if you want to have, of course, Camarilla MACD system, you will have a very good discount, but it will take some time, of course, because we still have price action training school, but you will also be able to see, receive some free template, like naked uh, trading template and practical PNT template for MACD. Of course, uh, you will have a nice discount. But this is, guys, how it looks. That is one of the reasons uh, why why we actually have uh, why we have so many good uh, MTF entries. Of course, uh, this information is used in my Camarilla MACD. But of course, it, it it has some proprietary tools, some proprietary filters. That of course, it's even better than this sole information. Of course, that is it. Uh, yeah just before i proceed to the next slide guys uh i will actually answer the question from martero does any discount is planned for new camera make the mtf fans on easter's occasion yeah uh the next uh discount is actually very valid you need to send uh, the question to info at elitecurrency.com i will give you the the link now uh so you can actually uh, go for the discount, but have in mind that we uh, knew uh, that the price will be changed very soon. If it's not changed, I haven't uh, checked the website. Uh, the price will go from 60, uh, 650 euros to uh, 950 euros, but it will include three months of uh, free uh, elite currency uh, live channel where I send signals each day, uh, trade management, of course, and complete education about the risk taken. And we have had so many really uh, good trades lately. Excellent success, guys, with trades. And I, I uh, also uh, can uh, uh, provide you with a full statement on my $10,000 account to see how I trade. It's already in, in nice profit, of course. But of course, I, I'm not the only one who will tell you that because we have almost 100 people who trade with us on ECS live channel that can witness how we do it. And every trade is recorded in the separate spreadsheet. So everything is clear, guys. Now let's get it back. This is something that is important that I use. And this is the best logic for, chem, uh, for MACD indicator. Four hour bearish, one hour loss of momentum. 15 minute is retracement. So you can find entries on 15 minute time frame, of course. This is the info, so you can also try to spot it, to use it, as I'm saying, it's very, very, very good. Now, just guys, why Forex indicators? Why not naked trading? Because an indicator is mathematical calculation based on a price. Without MACD, I couldn't actually myself, even though I know a lot about naked trading, I cannot compare the info from higher time frames to lower time frames. That is why I'm very dependent on my MACD and on statistics that are used to measure current conditions. Conditions are changing constantly, guys, constantly changing in Forex trading. But MACD is lagging indicator, okay? 
yeah excellent you see david is saying excellent trades on live tracked on my fx book so guys megdi is a lagging indicator and being a lagging indicator it collects data in the past so you need to have something to filter out uh, trend and momentum and to give you the current uh, the best possible setups along with our friend and trader carlos we made an excellent indicator that has been coded uh, with uh, not just the MACD, but uh, all additional filters that make Camarilla MACD very, very useful, very precise trending system, guys, that is actually used for my live trading. Okay. Now, this is also how it looks. Uh, let me uh, show you. Uh, okay. Uh, I will just give you the quick overview of uh, MACD here. Uh, I will actually zoom it in. And uh, this template is actually my live, uh, my actually Camarilla MACD Lite template. So this is one of modules that I use with Camarilla MACD for four hour trading. But I'm mostly trading now one hour. This is also a good system, but I almost exclusively trade uh, the MTF on one hour because the, the win to loss uh, ratio is very, very big. Uh, we we, we are having like like Arnold uh, from 70 up percent of successful trades. Okay, so this is make the you see guys. Let's say say we are starting to work on four hour time frame. When you see this, it means that there is no trend and momentum, so you need to move on to another uh, pair. Uh, let's say uh, euro dollar for example. I can see it here on my dashboard. So euro dollar obviously obviously has a both trend and momentum because the histogram is thick and below zero line you see it means that the trend is bearish and also it means that momentum is bearish so what does it mean you don't sell guys when price is down you want to see a retracement in downtrend in order to sell when price gets higher but is still in the main trend that is downtrend then you need to move on to one hour time frame and see one hour time frame is also having uh basically a sell momentum here you see both trend and momentum here this was the retracement that could have been used for selling here guys exactly at this spot because you see the the the, the trend already lost its momentum here and then probably on 15 minute time frame we could see an entry also yeah definitely here some entries that could have been made on four on 15 minute time frame but if you see that four hour is actually having both trend momentum as a thick histogram and one hour is showing blue histograms it means that this is the time frame where you should actually enter and this is probably your enter i mean this and just general info of course guys this was the basis of the first version of camarilla make the mtf so the basis is good we have upgraded it with much better i mean with much better the success ratio of this version was around 60 percent now with uh, the, the the latest upgrade uh, uh, we can even have sometimes weeks that have 90 percent of success of course it depends on a week from a week but generally it's around uh, 75 to 80 percent for example here uh let's see uh, australian dollar uh it has also bearish trend here four hour time frame you see very bearish one hour is also bearish so when it starts to have a thinning histogram then you move on to 15 minute time frame and you can time entry on 15 minute time frame 15 minute needs to have this thinning blue line while both lines are below zero this is the concept that uh as I say, uh, I've been using, I was using like uh, from maybe 2010 and 11, because I have witnessed uh, how we can align those time frames. It does not need to be guys four hour, one hour, 15 minutes. But from intraday perspective, you can also go with daily four hour and one hour. So if daily is, you see Euro cat, for example, or dollar cat, we have a bullish trend on dollar cat, obviously here the dashboard is showing it. So dollar cat on daily, you see it's bullish. 
very bullish. Three days in a row, we have histograms that are thick. Four hour time frame, guys. You see an entry on four hour time frame. Red above zero line and bang, it, it's going up. So, yes, it's very, very nice because you can make a confluence, guys. Watch my price action training school. As David is saying, confluence with Camarilla Pro indicator from last webinar. So you can also base your entries with a great pivot point such as Camarilla, MACD, of course, or Camarilla, sorry, guys. Uh, you see, very, very good information because you need to know whenever on ECS MACD, the histogram is changing color uh, from... Uh, blue like here from blue like here and next time frame is red you need to watch the lines lines are both lines are above zero lines it means that retracement and momentum momentum is actually now bearish here it was bearish momentum on four hour but the trend was still to the upside so you use bearish momentum to actually buy lower because the because the trend is to the upside so you need to align three time frames i i do it like three some people might align five time frames i don't know i do it like three so daily for example four hour one hour four hour one hour 30 minutes but for me i like to go with quarters so uh, like four hour one hour 15 minutes or daily four hour one hour that is how you can do it also see the logic just think about the logic uh let's see for example uh the gbp dollar on daily on daily guys time frame i'm not talking from intraday perspective it looks yeah you know it, it lost its momentum so obviously it, it turned bullish on on uh, you see yeah this is four hour wait 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 let me check yeah on daily time frame it looks like bearish but four hour is strongly bullish guys both li lines are above zero lines when you see this it means that probably trend on daily will change and it will not be bearish anymore actually it will be bullish but if you, if you go to monthly time frame now watch this monthly is very bullish you see big 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 this is strong for monthly this is good the start of new trend on monthly bullish trend weekly it's losing momentum so you can align daily entry bullish daily bullish entry when this histogram becomes thin like he, this this could be a bullish entry on uh, GBP dollar actually because higher time frames always win versus lower time frames. But if you make an entry, let's say on daily time frame, well, you will probably need to wait for well uh, weeks to tr for a trade to develop. Just giving you an, an an idea how you can align ECS MACD with possible entries. But of course, uh, in price section train school, we will learn much more. And when you when we finish with all classes, uh, you can apply for a discount for Camarilla MACD full trading method. You don't need anything else than that. Uh, in my opinion, that is what I use. And of course, uh, if you don't want to pay for that, uh, you will receive the template for free. But you need to wait with price section training school to finish. So I hope that everything is clear, guys. If anything is not clear, feel free to ask me. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, David is saying excellent trades on live, tracked on my FX book. Yes, David is also our live member uh, and he is uh, always with us. Uh, Confluence with uh, Spiders then days. Yeah, uh, Spiders then days were when I actually uh, were actually very active on Forex Factory. Uh, but now I really don't have the time for forums. I'm mostly uh, providing uh, education analysis and live trading signals on our channel ECS live yes revision on momentum is important guys because the market is constantly changing and we need to adapt to market conditions in order to be in on the spot to have the best possible uh, return on win to loss and best possible trades regarding uh, regarding uh, our live accounts guys live accounts are not something that I want to actually, um, that I want uh, to mingle with. I always want to put the best and forth into uh, my live traders, all of you who want to start trading with live money, because live trading is not the same, guys, as demo trading. 
Okay? Yeah, we need to stay relevant always to the market. So that is why I'm constantly following it. Okay, guys, so that is it. Uh, I don't see any questions. So this webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded to YouTube. So you will be able to watch it again. This is just a quick intro to, of course, uh, 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 MACD uh, and Camarilla MACD method. But of course, uh, with this, you will get some closer idea how to trade, how you should use eventually Camarilla MACD, and of course, be on the track and stay in trades for many, many years to come. We will also talk about money management. That is actually the holy grail of Forex trading. Thank you guys for listening. I wish you a great trading week. And as always, guys, cheers and trade safe.